Ah, uh, winter is officially over. I have 55 subs. And, you know, on March 8th, international it was International Women's Day. I feel fantastic right now. I feel amazing. I can do a lot more stuff now that I, now that winter is officially over. Woo! So, I feel like celebrating and seeing that on on the 8th it was in fact International Women's Day. I figured for this week and for this week only I would dedicate myself only to feminism. Destroying feminist arguments like this one. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making kind of a rant video because quite frankly I saw something today that really pissed me off and I felt like it needs to be addressed. So yeah. Popular singer Lily Allen has released a statement in an interview saying that she feels as though feminism is not necessary in our world right now. The direct quote is, Feminism. I hate that word because it shouldn't even be a thing anymore. We're all equal. Everyone is equal, so why is there even a conversation about feminism? What's the man version of feminism? There isn't a word for it. There's no reason for it. To me, that is an extremely ignorant statement. Oh my god. A rich, wealthy woman against feminism. Because... She knows that she is equal towards men. You know, what a shock. <sighs> Continue. We still need feminism. As much as people hate to admit it, we do. No, we do not need feminism for anything. Even if there was inequality between the genders, Feminism is not the answer. I'd rather be a humanist or even a men's rights activist than to be a feminist. And with such f tactics today that feminists love to make, I, they're, they're not fighting for equality. They're fighting for oppression. In fact, I bet you five fucking dollars that the first example that you will use is the wage gap argument. I fucking know it. Women are not equal to men. It's just a fact at this point, we are not equal. Yes, people are changing the way they view things and they're accepting, you know, equality in a variety of ways, but we're still not there yet. For example, look at how much a man makes in the workforce. For every dollar he makes, a woman makes about 77 cents. I called it! I fucking called it! I fucking knew it that you were going to use the wage gap argument! This argument has been proven to be false over and over and over again. Obviously, you have not done your research. Women are not being paid less because of having a vagina or having boobs, okay? There are some logical reasons on why women get paid less. And again, it's not because you have a vagina. I'll give you one good example. Women, there are statistics to show that women have in fact taken more vacation days and more sick days and have to pick up their children and have to work less than their male counterparts. Women are not willing to work over, t most women are not willing to work over time. Those are five things. There are five things right there that I've just shown on why women get paid less. That is not to say that I'm against equal pay. I mean, if there's a woman out there who doesn't take any sick days or, you know, take as little sick days as possible, take as little vacation days as possible, you know, don't have to worry about picking up the children and, you know, work as hard, if not even harder than their male co-workers, then yes, I believe that person deserves equal pay, if not even more pay than their male, than her male colleagues. And it could even be less depending on what her race is, according to statistics. And yet feminism is the answer? No thank you. And that is not equal. 
That is why we need feminism. We need to be equal. Women still get catcalled walking down the street. They still get sexually harassed in the workforce or in schools. And they're still objectified and sexualized and degraded everywhere we look in the media. Okay, let's start with the cat calling. It's... This is nothing. Cat calling? You act like it's an everyday thing. You know... Oh my, you get cat called. So fucking what? It's not like you're being fucking raped. Ugh... <sighs> As for the sexual harassment, yes, it's bad to sexually harass someone. If you get sexual harassment from someone, best thing to do, tell your boss, that guy gets fired, end of story. But keep in mind that this goes both ways. And as for the objectification of women or sexification, remember, again, this goes both fucking ways. And that's not right. Women are human beings, and we need to be treated with respect, just as men should be treated with respect. Just as everybody, regardless of age, sex, sexual orientation, race, etc., should be treated with respect. It's all about equality. So, Lily, your statement is inaccurate, because we still need feminism, and it still needs to be a thing. With the arguments that you have brought up, you, you haven't made feminism look any better. You made feminism look worse. Using the exact same arguments. Using such, such a stupid claim. It's just terrible. Just plain, flat out, terrible. <sighs> feminism fails at a grand multi-scale and you fail to see that if there was any inequality in America feminism would not be the only solution it is not feminism fails because of its double standards its approach on how to achieve equality each feminist group have their own version of equality none of them are good not a single group of feminists is that good. And even if there was one, it doesn't make feminism as a whole good. Feminism is just like a piece of shit in the floor. You tell me there's some perfectly good, tasty chocolate chip cookies in that piece of shit, and I should go eat it. Sorry, but... Just because there's some, piece, you know, good, tasty chocolate chip cookies inside that piece of shit doesn't mean that I want to eat it. Because it's on a piece of shit. It's a piece of fucking shit. No, thank you. I will not eat that piece of shit. Thank you very much. You can top it with whipped cream. You can add syrup on it. It doesn't fucking matter. I am not going to eat that piece of shit. It's not about hating men or burning bras, it's about equal rights for everybody. Basically the point is, no matter who you are, you should be treated equally and with respect. So that's the end of the rant. It was kind of short, but I just had to say something about it because it just irked me. Hope you're all doing well. Bravo! Bravo! You made a two minute video disabling your ratings. I'm surprised you haven't disabled your comments, but you know, disabling your ratings, that's... I don't mind about that, but bravo! You demonstrated how feminism is a failure. I am the Atheist Gamer. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Ace the Game. Out. Also, stay tuned to, for more episodes of Feminazi 